Good morning, everybody. Reduced visibility. We are greeted with fog pretty much in every eye cam. Uh, let's show you those visibilities down to a quarter of a mile at Bradley, two miles at Brainerd. You guys uh, getting a little bit worse there. You were at four miles. Now you're at two miles, three miles in Meriden. That's one of the better numbers in Willimantic at seven. That's the best. You can see a quarter of a mile in Waterbury, a quarter of a mile in Danbury and zero in Chester, two and a half miles in Groton. I'll show you some eye cams coming up in just a bit. Mostly cloudy, very foggy to start. Driving around this morning could be a little problematic, so you want to reduce your speeds. Keep your headlights on, but your high beams off. They're certainly not going to help this morning. 34 in Danielson, 35. We're pretty close to the average of about 38 out there. You'll notice 38 in East Hartford. We're right there. The bullseye is in East Hartford. And 42 degrees in Milford, a little bit better in Milford. And that's pretty typical for this time of morning, this time of year. As we roll out the school bus, the kids are going to be out there with uh, 36 to 44 degree spread. The 36 is reserved for Northwest and Northeast Connecticut, 44 for the shoreline between 43 and 44. By lunch and recess, the kids will be outside. We're not expecting too much of the way of rain by that time. And then for the Ride home. I think the rain holds off even for the ride home as the temperatures climb 51 to 57 degrees. So the typical uh, daytime high is about 58. So remember that. Remember 85 degrees back in 1991. How good that felt, right? All right. Now this morning, the temperatures again hovering around the the average mark of about 38. You've got some. Uh, Better numbers along the shoreline, 42, 43 in New Haven, but inland we are in the mid to upper 30s. The winds are fairly calm, so you don't have to worry about any wind chills out there. All right, so as we move you through the day today, cloudy, 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 maybe a break of sun by later on this afternoon, and then some showers and thunderstorms roll through between the hours of about 4.30 and 8 o'clock this evening. Let's take a look at the shoreline. Temperatures climbing to about 56 by 3 p.m. Scattered showers and thunderstorms developing uh, even along the shoreline around 6 p.m. this evening, and uh, unfortunately, that's not looking good. Look at this. This is our Hartford eye cam. You can't see anything. Is wow. That wow. It's Look where? At that. It's Hartford. Is that unbelievable? I, I could put up any camera and all right, much better visibility in New London. Good morning to you. And you can see we do have some fog for you in Middletown. Good morning to you. Regional radar shows a storm system down to our south. That's bringing rain to the fish. Uh, but not for us here in Connecticut. We're doing okay this morning. We do have an extensive amount of cloud coverage out there and fog. You might see an interval of sun before this next storm system rolls in. You can see it draped here up through the Great Lakes. That has to make its way through the state, and it will do so later this afternoon. So let's run it down for you. Futurecast, tomorrow's weather today. Here, here it comes. This is between 435 for northwest Connecticut. Central Connecticut, we're dealing with it around 630. 7.30, reserved for northeast and southeast Connecticut, and then that scoots on by tonight. We're under partly cloudy skies, and tomorrow looks great. Daytime highs today in the mid-50s, mostly cloudy. Afternoon showers, maybe a thunderstorm this afternoon through early this evening. Then that clears out, and then uh, tonight we're drop, dropping temperatures back pretty close to normal, pretty close to where we are this morning under uh, partly cloudy skies late. And then your seven day forecast includes a nice day tomorrow, a nice day on Thursday. Friday, increasing clouds with rain developing Friday evening through early Saturday morning. Saturday looks good, Sunday looks good, but Sunday evening we're expecting rain to roll in and then I'll continue through Monday morning. So we're gonna bookend the weekends Friday night and Sunday night with rain, but in between it is dry and the temperatures will get nice and comfortable. 63 degrees on Saturday, 59 degrees on Sunday, and here come your shoreline highs, pretty equivalent to where we're headed inland.